Welcome to the final Chalk Talk of the 2012 season. I'm Chris Love, here at the University of Texas Golf Club, where very soon we'll be having the ICSA year-end banquet. And I'm Jane Mackey. Now, the last time I saw you all, I was standing on the dock in Austin, Texas, uh, Lake Travis, with Chris. And unfortunately, now back in New York, so reporting remotely, on one of the most, one of the three most exciting national championships of college sailing. Going into this event, we had a little bit of an idea of how the teams all stacked up. Just based on the semi-finals, we had a bit of a ranking. So going in from the Eastern semi-finals, it was Georgetown, Roger Williams, Stanford, and Charleston. Those were the top four ranked in that order. From the Western semi-finals, it was Miami, Yale, Harvard and SUNY. So those were our real top dogs. So day one, very light, three to six knots. It sounds very similar to what we were seeing for the team race as um, at the tail end of the team race, unfortunately. Not what I would call the most amazing conditions for a national championship, but this is sailing and you, you, you can't control the wind. That's the one thing you can't control. So three to six knots for the first day, six races in each division, which is a pretty good effort. And at the end of the day, it was Georgetown in first, Harvard, Roger Williams, Yale, and University of South Florida. So that was our leaderboard going into day two. Then on day two, breeze seven to 12 knots, but very shifty and varying throughout the day. Race committee only able to get four races off, but Georgetown increases that lead from 19 points at the end of day one to 30 points at the end of day two over Yale. And finally, a painful day for, for anyone who like me was following along via the interwebs. Thanks to those University of Texas and whoever was manning the live stream updates, really good job. But painful because it was so light, just three races in each division, and we finally have our national champions. So Georgetown finishes in first, no surprise there. Roger Dodger in second, Yale in third, and Charleston in fourth. And Chris managed to get an interview with A Division winner, Chris Barnard, who won his division before the last race, which is always a great, great feeling, sailing incredibly well to get to that position. So Chris, Anyone who's following the results knows you guys were out in front from the very beginning. It seemed like the more races we put in, the further ahead Georgetown gets. Um, it got a little bit close at the end in A Division, uh, but pretty dominating performance. What can you attribute that to? I mean, definitely a lot of hard work and balance being between A and B. And throughout our team, we have a lot of depth. So um, everybody working hard, it pushed us really hard. To, and we went into the event wanting to come out hot. Um, right we, did, we didn't want to take our time, like get in the group. We wanted to come out hot and take the regatta as soon as we could. How did you guys handle the sitting and then getting into racing in, in sometimes marginal conditions? I mean, we kind of just always had to be ready to go. We kept hydrated and uh, kept our spirits up by being with our team and staying out of the sun, I guess. <laughs> Well, I think we unfortunately didn't get the ideal conditions Lake Travis kind of offers. I think the first day we had a little bit with the southerly, and um, I think as summer goes on, it gets much stronger southerly. But um, I, I actually thought it was great sailing. It got a little weird today, but <laughs> well, we definitely have had an up and down year. Um, I think we started off the season strong, um, yep. and then we kind of tapered off a little bit. Didn't have a great ACCs, or I personally didn't have a great single night championship, but. Uh, in the spring, luckily, Evan Aris decided to come back to the team, um, and he was definitely... Pushed us. Pu pu well, he brought our, our team to a whole nother level, yeah. and he's definitely someone out there that can go out there and hopefully win be at Nationals. Um, but he definitely he's gonna, he definitely brings our team to a whole nother level. And um, in team just, racing, we had a great great start to the year, winning Graham Hall and St. Mary's. Um, fortunately, we didn't finish the year as strong as we had hoped, but... Uh, we know we could have sailed better, but Charleston and everybody else in the Final Four definitely deserved a, the he place they there. deserved. Um, but we're really happy we finished fleet racing off well, winning yeah. semis, and then winning na nationals. Here. And we attribute a lot of that also just to everyone on our team. Every day at practice has been tough, and you know everyone's been pushing us from you know the first boat to the last boat. Everyone's working hard, and it's really helped us a lot. Yeah. Thank you. As Barnard mentioned in that interview. 
Uh, Evan Eras, his teammate in B division, chasing Landy and May all day and really all regatta. Uh, but in the final race, Yale finishes third to seal their position as the B division winners. Well, now I think it's time to, uh, through the magic of time travel, look ahead to tonight's banquet and check out some of the All-Americans and, of course, the College Sailor of the Year. Charleston for their first ever team race championship, uh, Georgetown for their dominating performance in the co-ed champs, all of the All-Americans and honorees, the Quantum Female Sailor of the Year and the ICSA Co-ed Sailor of the Year, and also to everyone else sailing. I know that we don't always get to go through everyone that's putting forward such amazing efforts at these regattas, even the second, third, fourth, um, 18th place finishes. You guys are awesome, getting out there every weekend and doing your thing, so congratulations. Thanks to everyone who supported us and watched Chalk Talk all season long, and thanks to U.S. Sailing for making this possible and supporting college sailing. And finally, thank you, Jane, for being my co-host this year. It's been a pleasure. Chris, thank you for having me. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great summer uh, with lots of sailing uh, and lots of fun. <laughs>